Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and I create videos about home decor and DIY projects every single week. So consider subscribing if you're interested in these topics. So for today's video, I will be showing three super easy ideas for wall art. There won't be a lot of painting as I wanted to create something what looks good on the wall but doesn't necessarily need artistic skills. Three canvas and three different ideas, so hopefully you find something in your style. I usually go for more like a vintage paintings uh, as I'm not the best artist when it comes to painting. So these three projects are also very good alternatives. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the first project. For my all three projects, I will be using the same size of the white canvas, which is 30 cm x 40 cm, but you of course can use any size you like, it can be bigger or smaller, I just give you the idea of the design. For the first wall art, I will be also using some leftover pieces of string. I never throw any pieces of cord away, I keep them all together and use them for future projects like this one. To attach all strings to my canvas, I will be using hot glue, but I'm sure any other glue will work as well. I cut off each end of the cord if it's fluffy and open. I take one piece at a time and create kind of open loop which starts from the edge of the canvas going down and finish on the edge again. I use different thickness of cords to achieve different texture. I also try to put thin layer of the glue so the cord covers it fully, leaving clean and tidy look on the canvas. Once the whole canvas is fully covered in cotton strings and I'm happy with the design, it's time to paint it. I'm going for sand color, which I think is going to give more neutral and minimalistic look to this canvas. I'm adding some baking soda to my paint to achieve even more texture. I really like this technique and even it was a big trend in the previous year, I still love using it in my projects. I stir it well to get more like a paste and then start painting. I go all over my canvas, I paint the cord and between the cords as well. I need quite a big amount of paint as cord absorbs most of it. I make sure it goes everywhere without leaving any white spots. And after applying three layers of paint, this texture canvas is ready. Super easy and quick to do, but I love the final result. It's also a great way to use the leftover macrame cords. For my wall art number two, I prepare this drawing of leaves. I quickly draw it myself, but you can always print some other design if that's easier for you. I will be also using black thread to embroider this design on my canvas. But before that, I'm going to paint some background for it. I've created these four colors by mixing few of my favorite acrylic paints. As I want all these projects to be super easy to make, the design I'm creating doesn't really make any sense, it's just a combination of big, various colorful spots, more like an abstract painting.
In one point, the colors remind me of avocado, which I really like, by the way. On my design, I created dots along the edges uh, at the distance of about one centimeter. I placed the leaf design on the top of my canvas and secured it with few pieces of tape. Don't tape the painted parts uh, in case some paint come off together with the tape. I take quite thick needle and push it through each dot making a little hole. I take thick thread and needle and I start embroider my design. I go from the back of the canvas and go with the thread through each hole. If the thread is too short, I simply make few knots at the back and start with new piece. I found it very relaxing just to sit down and embroider. I also think it's very unique to do it on the canvas. I've seen many similar prints online, but I think it looks much better when it's actually painted and embroidered. Abstract painting with some texture. You can choose the color of the paint to match your room design. You can also frame it in some nice frame for more high-end look. Last and the most colorful project. There will be more painting than before, but it's so easy, so no skills needed. I've got my selection of acrylic paints, greens for leaves and pink red tones for flowers. So I start with painting rough shapes of flowers. I take one color at a time and paint them in random places on my canvas. At the moment, it reminds me more of the cloud shape, which is so easy to paint. If you are not going to frame it, you can always extend the painting into the edges. It will just look tighter from the sides. Once all the flowers were painted, I start adding some leaves in between. There is no rules to follow, just fill your canvas with paintings. Then I take my Uni Posca white marker pen and start drawing the flowers on top of the colorful spots. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I try to draw different kinds of flowers to bring more variety to this painting. I think the final result is very cute, it will bright up any wall and the technique was also very easy. So let me know in the comment section which of these canvas came out the best in your opinion. I had so much fun creating them and also remember that you always can uh, frame the canvas for more like a high-end look and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please click the like button. I will really appreciate it and it helps this channel growing and for now thank you so much for watching and your support and I will see you in my next video.